Today we're going to feature a utility vehicle and it is a Kawasaki Mule Pro FX. The vehicle weighs in about 1,700 pounds, 1,720 with gas and oil. You're looking at about 1,800. The engine has been very reliable and very strong. It's about an 812 cc motor. Uh, which works out to about 49 and a half cubic inches plenty of torque 1720 pounds with gas and oil you're looking at about 1800 ground clearance on this is listed at 10.4 inches electric start of course with fuel injection oil capacity runs about two and a half quarts the transmission is a CVT, which stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. Uh, for those of you not familiar with that, it is, think of it in terms of two pulleys with a belt. If you're familiar with snowmobiles, that's what a CVT is. Steering on this is electric, which I really like. I mostly carry wood, and it'll carry, I, I packed it as full as I can pack it, and no issues. I'm going to start at the front of the vehicle. You can see there's a winch down there. That winch is primarily used to work a plow. We had extra lights installed, LED. We were able to upgrade to the uh, a mag wheel, which just looks so much nicer. So here's an example of a stock wheel. the size of that bed it's just awesome you really can haul a lot i believe the tow capacity is 2,000 pounds for this which means i can haul my boat around without any problems here's the uh, battery tender tank is about eight gallons. See the antenna is on there for the radio. I'll show you that in a minute. Inside here we have the park brake that's off, on, very easy to set. This locks up your rear end, two wheel or four wheel drive optional. These are the lights and we had a horn installed, uh, wipers. Just had to show you that low versus high for the heater blower. Here's the radio. Here's your hookup for the winch uh, and then run, run it outside. So that's what I use when I'm setting up for wintertime use. We work this lift. We 
had to have the heavier springs installed to carry the extra weight with the cab. It also comes with doors that completely seal everything off on both sides. I take them off for summertime use. Makes for a nice package in the wintertime. And with the heater, uh, it gets pretty toasty. After the uh, bed is down, the next thing you do is uh, throw this latch in place. It's kind of a safety feature. It used to have a one on both sides, but I took the one on the other side off just to simplify uh, being able to do the whole operation from one side. drive here. One thing you need to remember in using low versus high, if you try to push snow or pull in high, what will happen is the belt will not shift out and they'll end up slipping and you'll prematurely wear your belts out and dirty up the clutch plates. So it's really important to to use your high or low correctly. This is a CVT transmission, so basically you got a brake and the gas. Once you're into the gear position, it's off to the races.
Well, that's about it from here. We hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we hope you'll continue to come back to the Stromzilla channel.